Hello everybody and welcome back to A Call from the Stars, A Call to Arms. Chapter 22. Point of View. Species Lizard, female, recently liberated under sniff occupation. It's so wonderful actually having our home back for the first time in I don't know how long. I was just a child when we were taken from here. However, it's nice to be back in in the swamp, oh, it's so wonderful to actually be on good wet land again. And it's also wonderful that we have these uh, hu humans, I think they, they call themselves. It's a lot easier to pronounce their, their words since they only have one tongue. So regardless, how we look at it is that they have freed us from what those vile bastards were doing to us. Those monsters who took our planet were actually beaten by bigger and scarier monsters. However, when you finally see one for the first time, it may scare the hell out of you. However, it doesn't scare you that much when you finally have to live with one. What was actually surprising is that the humans asked if they could share some of our living quarters. I, of course, agreed. Me and my sister and my brother all live here. We still have more room. Unfortunately, we don't have our parents anymore. They were taken. And unfortunately, my sister is still reeling from the loss of her children. However, the humans are helping us rebuild our planet after they liberated it. As they said, they caused a lot of damage on the way down and taking care of our former oppressors. I don't mind. However, when one of them walked in and said, I will be living here, I was a little taken back by that revelation. That big metal form was just scary. My brother almost peed his pants, which was kind of funny since we don't really wear any. However, it was very, very interesting when the human, when he was given his room, started to pull off his exoskeleton. We thought this would be painful, until he explained to us as he did it that he was simply removing his battle armor. We didn't understand this, since we didn't wear armor in battle. We saw a few of our kind had a type of covering. It was more soft than anything else. It looked like it was made to stop a few of our enemies' blades from slicing them up, but not much else. The humans wear a much heavier metal armor to protect themselves which has a lot more into it a lot more technology far superior than what we had we were barely able to produce uh, what they call an internal combustion engine by the time our enemy took us over electricity was actually fairly new as it turns out the reason we were having trouble was the fact that our planet was mostly covered in water and would well, short out what we had. Not that we mind it, though, as long as we got what we needed. Once we learned insulation for our electricity, uh, things began to expand. And human technology is being brought in by the quite literal shipload. It is nice to actually have some hope for a change. Another thing that changed is after about a month... My new human roommate had introduced me to a few of his subordinates. As it turns out, these subordinates are people he commands as he is a military officer. One of them seemed to take a liking to me, and I took a liking to him over time. Though we are getting used to the idea, it was uh, interesting to kind of do things that were finally against the rules for a change. As my new boyfriend says, going against the rules is a universal thing that young ladies like to do. I don't know what a lady was until he explained it. This made me blush a little bit. Uh, and we blush by becoming, as you humans would say, pale. Although... It was kind of interesting when my roommate walked in and he, uh, well, 
me and my boyfriend were um, in the middle of an activity. I still remember the quote that he said. Jesus, dude. No wonder everybody thinks humans will fuck anything. And then he just walked away. Didn't say anything else. Didn't order my boyfriend away. Just went to his room. It was the end of the day after all. And he had probably already had his evening meal since he didn't ask for any. Now, I look around with hope. My brother has found a mate. My sister has been looking into a mate as potentially having another family. For once in a long time, our world has hope thanks to these humans. And I look forward to having more of them around. However, they're telling me that soon they must leave. Once the buildings, bridges, and things like that are up and running, and we can survive on our own, they're simply going to leave. Leave us with weapons to defend ourselves, and some sort of device to call them if we need them. But they said this planet is ours. We can choose what to do. The concept is almost alien to us since we had been oppressed for so long. But I definitely don't mind. Maybe, maybe I can talk my man into staying with me. I do get some weird looks, but a girl can hope after all.